What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be giving you my guide to Kusanoki in Rise of Kingdoms. Now really quick before we begin, I just want to remind you guys that at the time of uploading this video, my giveaway for 10,000 subscribers is still going on. I am giving away $100 in gift cards and it's super easy and free to join. There will be a link in the description to the giveaway or you can check out my previous video which I talk about everything there is to know about that giveaway. With that being said, let's talk about Kusunoki. Kusunoki is an epic commander who focuses on archers. Now I've talked about him pretty extensively in my free to play archer video but I want to make a dedicated video just for Kusunoki so you guys know what exactly you should be doing with this commander and there's a lot of you guys who weren't subscribed to my channel back then so without further ado let's take a look Kusunoki is a the commander that you start with if you started with the Japan civilization you can also get him from uh, silver keys you can summon him from gold keys you can get him from the Japan event that comes around once in a while and you can convert your universals into him you can also get him in the metal shop and a couple of the different ways i'm sure but kusunoki is an epic commander that i'm sure you will come across pretty early on in your journey in rise of kingdoms and as i said before he's an archer garrison and skill commander we see this also with herman who is another epic commander um same talent builds they do slightly different things though so let's talk about kusunoki's skills his first skill i don't know how to pronounce that but it's his active skill with a rage requirement of 1000 and this is a unique active skill for the epic tier the first thing that it says is it removes all negative and control effects from kusunoki's troops this means the debuffs that you can get applied to your army he is going to remove them as soon as his active skill goes off which is amazing so if somebody hits you like an ethel fled for example hits you with a pretty huge debuff uh, this is just going to get rid of it right away which makes him really versatile in not just open field fights but in certain um different events in the game where you're going to be fighting up against a a kind of an, a pve scenario where you're going to be getting some debuffs kusunoki actually shines in those game modes pretty strongly and besides that he also deals a direct damage factor to a maximum of three targets in a fan shaped area then deals an additional damage factor of 250 to each target each second for the next two seconds so he hits them for a damage factor of 300 then he hits them for 250 the next turn and then he hits them for 250 on the turn after that so he's effectively dealing 800 damage factor now i kind of wish that it would just deal a flat 800 uh, because there's just so many more ways it seems to buff skill damage rather than additional skill damage uh, those are two separate calculations uh, as far as we can tell uh, they are referenced differently in uh, skill and talents for example so this one says enhance additional skill skill damage um whereas if you look at something like this that says enhanced uh just flat skill damage so they are different um and so that's kind of a negative plus he only hits three targets instead of the usual five you can usually see even a sun Tzu, for example he can hit five targets uh i think ethel Flight can also hit up upwards of uh five targets i think uh, mehmed and Esong, like those commanders can all hit five targets but kuzunoki can only hit three so he's dealing an okay damage factor but it is over time uh it's just to less troops on the field but he does remove all debuffs before he does it, which makes him a really good primary commander. And we're going to talk about that when we talk about some of the pairings for Kusunoki. But with that being said, let's move on to the next skill. It says the worthy man increases garrison counterattack damage by 7% when this commander is serving as garrison commander. So this is pretty straightforward. If he is on your wall or in your flag or something like that, um, it just increases the counterattack damage, which is, which is nice. It's flat. It's across the board. It is what it is. Now it's worth noting that the first skill is much better than the second skill. So you should definitely bring him to five uh, skill points on this first skill before bringing him to second stars in fact i would say probably skip over this one unless you really need him for your garrison in the early game uh, i would bring him just probably all the way up to four stars at after you max this first skill now because this third skill is really good it's called bravery and wisdom and it straight up gives you 10 percent attack and 10 percent defense when you expertise him that changes to 15 percent attack 15 percent defense so you're just straight up getting 20 percent of archer stats and when he's expertised you're getting 30 really nice there really good use of archer stats finally his fourth skill is called tragedies and it says 
Normal attacks of troops have a 10% chance to deal additional damage with a damage factor of 450 each second for the next two seconds. So that's another 900 additional damage factor. So you're going to see a lot of additional damage factor coming out of Kusunoki. It's a very um, niche role. It's a very specific role that he fills. I don't really know too many other commanders who focus heavily on additional damage factor. But at the end of the day, this just gives you a chance of dealing another 900 damage factor to the target, which is pretty good, right? It's pretty good. If when it pops off, they just take a bunch of damage, which is nice. So he gives archers 30% of stats. He removes debuffs and he deals some skill damage and additional skill damage as well it's, he's an overall a solid commander for archers with that being said let's take a look at some of the talent builds for kusunoki this is a full archer talent tree build i think this is probably the best build for an open field kusunoki uh, and the reason for that is because the archer tree actually has a ton of really good talents in here uh the top talent is called whistling arrows and this every time you have a normal attack you have a 10 percent chance to increase all damage by 25 percent for the next two seconds which means if kusunoki is the primary commander then the secondary commander's skill damage assuming that their primary does skill damage uh should fall within that two second window meaning uh if this pops off on one turn the next turn they'll have a 25 percent and then the turn after that is when your secondary commander is going to hit them with skill damage and it should fall within that two second window which is really powerful if your secondary is somebody like isong a or something uh huge skill damage on that turn and this can really come in clutch to deal big damage when this pops off you also have venomous sting which just straight up gives uh increases active skill damage of primary and secondary commander by eight percent so even though the active skill damage on kusunoki is only 300 because remember the rest is additional skill damage uh it's still going to apply to the secondary as well uh so you can get the trend here the trend is that you want your secondary to be a very high skill damage commander you also have phoenix tail with uh, phoenix tail arrows which when you have only archers um you get a 10 percent chance to get a, an additional 200 damage factor which is nice and then a lot of these talents in here are great as well right you get three percent archer attack you get Get razor shark which gives you nine rage every time you do a normal attack so a rage engine there is great um you're also getting a little bit of march speed which is cool you get some health you get some normal attack damage uh and arrows knocked is actually a decent talent where you know typically you don't want to fall beneath 50 percent strength but if you do your attack the attack of all troops goes up by nine percent which is incredibly good i think there's something in the infantry tree very similar to this uh and then in the skill tree we went up and grabbed uh, rejuvenate obviously 60 rage every time a skill is used rage engine is great um you also have tactical mastery which gives you active skill damage of three percent percent heraldic shield gives you reduced skill damage taken by six percent which is great of course you get burning blood here as well and i put three points into lightened power because there's a lot of additional skill damage that kusunoki is doing this is up to you if you want to flesh him out with this if not you could put those three points somewhere else i got obviously the only place you could put them is over here somewhere um, but i think that that's a decent place to put them considering how much additional uh damage he's going to do with the additional skill damage factor you also have phoenix tail arrows which does additional attack or additional skill damage as well so um that's that's why i put these in here now if you want just complete rage generation you can do something like this which will generate even more rage we only put one point here because we had one point left over but in the archer tree we go all the way up to venomous sting because we want that eight percent skill damage it's just really good you get the rage regen from razor sharp you get the extra archer um, attack now of course if you're doing this you still pretty much want full archers um but but this is just maximizing the rage regeneration uh, over here which is great now you also could use kusunoki on your garrison and i did make a video talking about best garrisons for free-to-play players and i talked about kusunoki pretty heavily in that video um and this is probably the build that i would go with if i were going to put kusunoki on my wall i'm pretty sure this is a different build than the one that i showed in the garrison video but that garrison video is pretty old at this point and i've learned a lot more about the game in the in the time that i've had to play the game in, uh, over the last couple of months and honestly the best part about him in with this build is obviously we go for full um full skill tree obviously because the reason you don't want to go too far into the archery tree is because you're not going to relative to how many troops you have in your city for example let's say you have a million troops and you have an even amount of all of them because you can train an even amount of all of them um and i know that's not going to be exactly the case but just for argument's sake let's say 250,000 troops are archers and the rest aren't well everything in here that buffs archers is going to be uh, it, you know it's only going to apply to 25 percent of your damage output because most of the 
troops in your city will not be archers so that's what's important of course um phoenix tail arrows won't work at all there and so you don't want to go too far into this tree um i grabbed the first uh, the, all the first talents here in the garrison tree now it's worth noting that you can grab it know thy enemy if you think you're going to get um, multiple rallies on your city at the same time however if you're using Kusunoki as the primary in your garrison, I think that your power level is probably going to be low enough to the point where the enemy is probably not going to bother coordinating uh, multiple rallies on your city. That's just my opinion. I think if, if you're less than like 40 million power, I feel like they're not going to multi-rally you. That's just me. Um, if you if you're worried about your city getting swarmed, like just straight up T5 armies just swarming your city, uh, then yes, go ahead and grab no thy enemy. But I think if you are playing properly and you know someone goes to rally you, then one rally by one player is or one alliance is probably all that that's gonna happen. Um, but again, there's there is the chance if you're on like the 25 million power range that a T5 player could just want to melt you for no reason in KVK. So keep that in mind but um i think this is a decent build obviously this is for rage regeneration um you're gonna want to pop off active skills on your garrison very often and um again it doesn't uh focus on archers now we went into the archer tree a little bit uh, which you can remove those if you want to go ahead and grab no the enemy but i think that arrows knocked is incredibly good because this is uh, you're going to be reduced by 50 percent uh strength when you're getting rallied and this does not specify that it's only archers this is all troops by nine percent which is insanely good so you definitely want this uh if you're putting him on your wall um but we went over here for to get razor sharp to get the nine extra rage um but of course you know you can take i think some if you take out some of these over here then you definitely can grab it know thy enemy and it's worth noting that march speed here is kind of a waste anyway and so this is just for archers dealing damage against infantry so you know there are some some these two right here are not great uh you can definitely remove this and grab know thy enemy if you're more worried about that it's worth noting but if you're not worried about getting a surrounded then razor sharp will give you nice rage and i think that's worth it with that being said let's talk about commander pairings now we're going to talk about epic commanders first because kusunoki is an epic commander and i think if you're looking at epic commander guides you might be free to play and so i think sun tzu is a great pairing um now obviously sun tzu is focused on infantry kusunoki is focused on archers and so whichever one is primary is going to be the one that you want to focus the troops on so if you're doing sun tzu primary kusunoki secondary you want to do full infantry if you do the other way around you want to do full archers now i think that kusunoki primary might be better because you will remove the debuffs in time for sun tzu to have his active skill go off and his active skill is much more powerful um than kusunoki's it hits more targets really is is the difference there um and it, de it deals damage directly instead of over time so um that that removing of debuffs is kind of why i want kusunoki primary however i think if you have sun tzu primary you may be slightly less likely to to be targeted in the open fields and it's worth noting right now that uh kusunoki suffers from what i'm, I'm gonna call it the purple plague meaning if you're in the open fields right and you're a t5 player and you see a purple commander meaning any epic that's the guy you're gonna focus right you're gonna focus on the purple guy because if you have full legendaries then you are so much more powerful than epics that seeing purple on the battlefield essentially means free kills right and so keep in mind that both these commanders suffer from purple plague uh chiskel actually made a video talking about uh ethelfled who also suffers from pretty much the same feat except she's a legendary but people know that she's insanely good and so they focus her in the open field but it's even worse for uh purple commanders for epic commanders so keep in mind um i think sun tzu is slightly less likely uh likely to be targeted because he does uh you know he could have anything behind him and so he could have someone more tanky like richard and that would make him slightly less likely to be targeted than kusunoki uh, so keep that in mind but i think kusunoki would technically be better as long as you don't get swarmed which you probably will but keep that in mind now we also can talk about the obvious pairing which is herman uh you could do him either primary or secondary they have the same trees it's worth noting that again you kind of want to remove that debuff you want to remove debuffs before herman's active skill hits this is the highest single target damage factor out of any epic commander to my knowledge um so yeah you definitely want to remove the debuffs before this hits but technically depending on how they're how they're built if you don't want to use a talent reset for one reason or another you could do either as primary or secondary it doesn't matter too much of course you could also do kiera as a um as a commander pairing this is a great pairing kiera is a very good commander i haven't gotten to use her too much because it takes forever to expertise her thanks Lilith but um she also deals damage to a forward uh, forward facing three enemies 
bigger damage factor than Kusunoki, but she also, it, the damage dealt is decreased depending on how many you hit. So that's worth noting as well. But she also will increase your skill damage uh, by upwards of 80% with a 10% chance of it popping off um, with normal attacks. So great synergy there. And she's also bringing 20% of Archer stats, which is amazing. Um, Herman only brings 10% archer stats and uh, I think 10% march speed so not as many battle stats on Herman as Kus as uh, I'm sorry as Kira so that's definitely a good, pa a good pairing a primary or secondary with Kira doesn't really matter as well Kusunoki is probably slightly better because of removing debuffs I'm, I think you kind of get the trend here now moving on to legendary pairings um, that's it for the epics by the way uh, legendary pairings Ethelfled is a great option. Ethelfled, you probably want to do secondary. Um, if you're going to do full archers, you definitely want to do her secondary. Um, if you're going to do her primary, then uh, you don't have to do full archers. But I think it's worth trying to do full archers because you are getting 30% of stats from Kusunoki, and the archer tree is great, and you'll remove the debuff before you hit them with your AoE here. Uh, you are missing out, however, on the 20% um bonus damage so keep that in mind and i don't believe kusunoki has any way of slowing enemies so getting this extra damage here is going to be relied on basically thunderous force honestly that's going to be like your only way um so it's not the greatest pair ever but they are both aoe skill damage commanders so you could totally do that it's definitely a pairing you could try you also can do of course a song Ye. now this is an insanely good pairing um if you're using an Isong Ye, then Kusunoki is great because they're both doing AoE. They both love skill damage. They both love archers. Um, you do get the archer attack buff here. You also get rage generation for Kusunoki, which he doesn't have that much of. You also get the bonus active skill damage by 50% here. And it's just... Kus uh, Isong is an amazing commander, so that's a, an obvious pairing there. You could also do El Cid, of course. Um, if you had of El Cid like 5511 or 55 something one, uh, that's a great pairing as well. Um, El Cid is probably going to want to be secondary, but again, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, big damage factor here. You also disable them for a second. Uh, there's just a lot of additional damage that's going on with this second skill. Um, there's a lot to love about this pairing, and it's going to have even more march speed than Herman, but this is a great pair for the same reason that Herman is a great pair. El Cid is kind of just the legendary version of him you also can do uh edward which is going to be down here i don't even have edward yet but edward you definitely want to do primary because of his active skill you just it's just he deals way more damage if his if he's primary so you definitely want to do edward primary kusunoki secondary however i think if you have edward in a usable state then you're probably not using kusunoki that's just my assumption and opinion same thing with tamiris um if you you can do her either primary or secondary um you probably want to do her secondary because I, I don't know about the attack tree for archers not really sure it could be good i just don't know i obviously don't have her so i haven't tested her out too much but i mean she's an archer commander she can pair with kusunoki for certain uh it's just would you actually have her and also be using kusunoki probably not now as for equipment really it's pretty self-explanatory you just want to put the most amount of archer stats on kusunoki as possible which means things like chainmail things like sturdy boots those are great early game gray items and if you get the bonus um the bonus talent on them as well make sure that you put them for archers uh, and that will give you an extra one percent um for those as well so definitely just maximize the amount of archer stats you can put on kusunoki because if he's your primary then the only thing you should be putting in there is archers with that being said guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video quick reminder that link in the description to join my giveaway check it out seriously it's free it's easy go ahead and try that there's only a couple of days left comment down below if you have any other questions about kusunoki pairings or anything like that uh, i'll definitely try to answer as many questions as i can about this commander as always all my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me on instagram and and Twitter I also have my twitch down there make sure you follow me there my live streams are a lot of fun I love the community that I have over there thank you guys if you're one of those who continues to tune in join my discord link is down below that's a great way to connect with me as well finally there is a link in the description to download rise of kingdoms for your PC or Mac it's my favorite way to play the game with the least amount of crashes and I, I notice less lag I don't know if that's just me but that's what I notice and I love playing the game on my PC with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omni Arc. I will talk to you guys again soon peace